Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. Have another great one for you today. So in the shop, I'm gonna put this shelf up. So as you can see, it's pretty long. It's actually 12 feet long by about a foot deep and then two inches thick. And I have four of these heavy duty uh, angle brackets, they're 10 inches, and I uh, got this from Lowe's and quite strong. I mean, I can barely even budge it. So uh, the four of these in the studs will hold this up perfectly fine. Now, I looked at all of my equipment and I don't have everything in here as of yet, but looked at like my bandsaw and drill press and all of that. And I know I need 30 inches of clearance above this to be able to fit those in and move them back. Then I'm going to take all my chargers and all that good kind of stuff and put those up on top, along with like my drills and, you know, uh, uh, some other tools. So having a, a 12 foot shelf, you know, uh, I, I think it'd be really good for the shop. So um, instead of doing 30 inches, I'm doing 32 inches. Um, I test fit the board to see. Uh, it doesn't go all the way out to the very edge, but on the inside, there's plenty of overlap on those two sides. Of course, the middle's fine. Uh, so I marked it with a Sharpie. So next, get to do some drilling. So I have these uh, metal self-tapping uh, screws. So these are the same type of screws that were used to assemble the building. These are actually some extras that were left over. Um, looks like that they're number 10, I would say three quarters of an inch. So that's going to go into the, uh, into the steel and that should support it very nice. And it'll be four that go on it and then connecting it to the wood on under, on the underside. Uh, I have these spacks that have kind of like a built-in washer on them. And as you can see, if it went all the way through, it would very, it would just barely touch the end. Now, since I have this thick bracket here, uh, it won't touch the end. Um, I'll have a little bit of space left over, probably about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, so I'll put in four screws into the bottom, holding up this, you know, the bracket holding up the shelf on all four of those as well. So in total. 16 screws holding it against the shop, 16 screws holding this um, to the brackets. All right, so that's it. Uh, as you could probably imagine, this is pretty heavy. It is mostly straight. There's a very, very slight bow to it, but it's not too bad. I think attaching it to these brackets should help straighten it out. Um, ended up spending $32 for this piece of wood at Lowe's. Brackets were fairly expensive. I think those were probably, I don't know, maybe uh, seven bucks each and then got the specs and then I had these other, other screws left over. All right, enough background. So let's get to work. So what I'm gonna use to drill these out, I'm actually gonna use my um, Hercules. Uh, so let me grab that real quick. All right, so I already have a charged up battery. This is a two amp hour one. I have uh, an extra two and a half, a five, and another five here. So it's not like I'm going to run out of juice. All right, so let me start on the first one. All right. So I can see my mark here. I'm going to level this up. Put it on this inside edge. Right. So that's first one down. I'm going to do the other side over there next. And then we could kind of get this board up um, and, uh, and test fit it. Just make sure before I start drilling a bunch more holes, make sure we're, uh, we're still looking pretty good. Grab four more of these. All right, follow me over here. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Here's my mark. Okay. 
All right, so let's see how that turned out. So you can see that I put these kind of on the inside portion of it right on the edge, and I did that there, and then over here. Same on, on this side. Okay. As you get older, things get heavier. So uh, if you see that I'm struggling with this, well, I'm old. All right, let me get up here. Try that again. That's good. So I've got about half inch of overlap on each side, which is uh, what I was after. She's up there now. You can see the board's a little bit warped, so I have to kind of pull it in, get it where it needs to be. So since I got a little bit of warpage right here, um, I'm going to kind of draw that in first. All right. That's looking pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. This side right here is just a hair too long. I think I just might space it out just a hair, but uh, looking good so far. here it is all set up so as as i said it's 12 feet long a little bit of a pain to get everything right and get it level but got it all done and as you can see it's nice and level uh put a little bracket on here so i could put my uh, drills on it and then i'll take my chargers and i'll move these up on top and that's going to kind of free up this workbench because i've got my grinder there i've got my drill press i've got a small hydraulic press uh, besides my, my, my stand up one, but you know, a bunch of things that I want to put on here, you know, especially bigger equipment. So all that's going to fit on here nice. 
and then I got a power strip that I still need to mount, which uh, I'll get that uh, mounted somewhere as well. But yeah, looks good. This will give me a lot of extra storage space. And as you can see, this thing is rock solid. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching Mike's Garage. Oh, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you.